So how do you lower your scores from the position that you're in and where you want to get to? Well, the best place you're going to lower your scores is from this distance and then. I'm about 50 yards, 51 yards away from the pin. So this is just going to be a quick video on how to consistently get inside of 10 foot from 50 yards and in. If you can do that, I guarantee your scores will get lower and lower and lower the more you practice it. So here we go, just a few tips for you to nail and you will be so much better at this. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, this is my lob wedge, the highest loft in my bag. Don't go with lob wedge, the highest loft in your bag. Always a bad idea. Instead, I've got my sand wedge, which is 54 degrees. I could even go gap wedge, which is 50 degrees, or even a pitching wedge. The lower the loft, chances are the more bounce. Bounce is something that's your friend. The bounce is the angle between the leading edge and the back edge. And if you've got too little of it, your club's going to dig, you're going to hit fat shots, it's going to skid and you're going to get potentially thin shots as well. So give yourself a break, take more loft where there's more bounce and you're guaranteed to remove those barriers straight away. So that's tip number one. Now tip number two, we don't want a really long backswing. We don't want to be all the way back around there like that. We want something about there. That's all we're doing. We want something sh shorter and more positive through. That's tip number two, easy as that, okay? Tip number three, we need to look at getting the ball roughly in the middle of our stance. Not forwards, not really backwards, roughly the middle. And straight into tip number four, <coughs> we want our feet about shoulder width apart, like so. Maybe not as far as that, but you get this kind of width apart. And then tip number five, this is the last one for you to get, and then you're sorted. We don't want to have loads of shaft lean. We don't want to have it leaning back that way either. We want to be using the bounce. I talked about that in the earlier tip. We want the bounce to be our friend. We want it to move through the turf and help maintain the loft so that it skids through the turf and it gets the ball airborne, okay? It's very important that we have a relatively neutral setup like this so that when it comes through, we get that nice interaction with the turf, okay? So use the bounce. If you're not sure on what bounce is still, then a little bit of Googling is going to help you out here, okay? So we want the width, we want a sand wedge, not a lob wedge, we want a shorter swing, like so. And what will really help you, last little extra tip here, is feel like you are going away from the club. I'll go down the line here. So we're going away, almost like you want to hit a slice. If you bring it to inside, bad things are going to happen. So we want all those tips together we want it more away and you want to feel like this is a dan greve tip here we just want to feel like we're popping the club in our pocket afterwards so not really like long follow through like that just a nice pop up and into your trouser pocket so let's see if we can do it i also generally grip down a little bit just for a bit more control but let's get everything into action all those tips we've got 50 yards Nice in the middle of my stance. Feel like we're cutting across it. Use the bounce. <sighs> Go in. Oh, I nipped that one. Get your stance right. Middle of the stance. Use the bounce. Grip down it a bit. Feel like we're hitting across it. And into the pocket. Give it a try. Hope you like that. Subscribe for more tips like that on your golf game. And hopefully you and I will both improve. Cheers.